Okay, so let's see if we can figure out this basic math problem without the aid of a calculator. And the problem is the following. When we have 1 fourth plus 0.8 plus 0.3, what is this all equal to? Well, actually, there's a couple different ways you could uh, use or a couple different methods you could use to do this problem. And there's a couple different ways you can express the answer as well. So just do this uh, problem in a way that makes sense to you. The only rule here, again, is no calculators. All right, so if you have the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, then I'll show you two different ways you can use or two different uh, methods or approaches you could take to solve this problem without the aid of a calculator. This is not a difficult problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so what makes this problem interesting is that we get to work with both fractions and decimals. So some of you might prefer to work with decimals, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, others of you might be like, you know what, I love working with fractions. So that's what's going to make this problem fun, is that we're going to work with both fractions and decimals. But uh, let's go and take a look at the correct answer right now. So if you uh, decided to work with decimals, you should have come up with 1.35. That is the correct answer expressed as a decimal. If you decided to work with fractions, you would have come up with the fraction 27 over 20 or a mixed fraction equivalent. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this problem right, we have to celebrate by giving the ice happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that indeed you still remember all that arithmetic that you learned way back in the good old days now for me that was like the 1970s now some of you it might have been the 70s it might have been the 60s or the 50s or the 80s or the 90s it doesn't matter or might have been a few years ago but here is the deal right if you don't practice a skill you will forget it and the whole point of this video is to see how much you remember and uh, so again don't feel bad if you weren't able to get this problem right because most people would just say be like, you know, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm just going to get my calculator and I'll just, uh, you know, uh, use technology to solve this problem. But let's suppose you didn't have a calculator available to you. Could you still uh, do this problem? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the solution right now. And uh, most of you be like, oh, yes, I do remember how to do this. OK, so again, not one way to solve this problem. Now, uh, there's actually all different sorts of variations you could have taken to do this problem. I'm going to uh, kind of walk through two different methods. So the first is we're going to work with all decimals. Uh, so we have one fraction here and two decimals. So someone might be, you know what, I got two decimals and one fraction. I'm going to work with all decimals by converting this fraction to a decimal. And then I have a problem with all decimals. So that's a perfectly, uh, you know, good technique. So this is going to be the first way we're going to do this problem. The second way we're going to do this problem is all fractions. But let's go ahead and focus in here on how to do this problem using decimals. Okay, so first things first. First, we have to uh, convert or write this fraction, one-fourth, as a decimal. So one-fourth is equal to the decimal 0.25. Now, how do we convert a fraction to a decimal? Well, what we need to do is actually divide this is one divided by fourth, one or one divided by four, or one fourth. So you would take one and actually divide it by four. Now, of course, uh, most people would just use their calculator, but this is the division you would have to do. I'm not going to turn this video into a full kind of lesson on how to convert fractions to decimals, but you need to know how to do uh, how to divide. But uh, you know, even if you didn't um, remember. Um, how to convert, or let's say, for example, uh, let me kind of give you another quick example. Let's say I had 3 over 7, and you want the decimal equivalent uh, for 3 sevenths, you would take that 3 and divide it by 7, okay? But most people do not remember the decimal equivalent of 3 sevenths, okay? But there's very common fractions like 1 half, right, that most people would remember the decimal equivalent, which would be, oh, that's 0.5 or one fourth, that is 0.25. How about three fourths? Somebody might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube man, man uh, that's a 0.75. I would say you are very sharp today. Uh, and so you got, you know, these basic or these very common 
fractions that you should know the decimal equivalent. So, okay, so anyways, one fourth is the same thing as 0.25. So now we have to figure out this problem right here. 0.25 plus 0.8 plus 0.3 without the aid of a calculator. So how do we add decimals without a calculator? Well, what we need to do is line up all the decimal points like so. Now, uh, you know, how you learned how to add decimals, that could vary from uh, person to person. And of course, uh, when you went to school or you know how this was taught to you. So this is the way it was taught to me. You got to line up the decimal point. So go ahead and uh, see if you can actually add these decimals up. Now, I already showed you the answer, but uh, if you decided to uh, do this problem with fractions and not decimals because you don't like decimals, well, let's just see if you can actually add up these decimals. So let's go to do this right now. Okay, so we have 0.25 plus 0.80 plus 0.30. What we have to do is line up the decimal point and then we're just going to simply add as if we were adding regular numbers. Okay, so we're going to start right here. So we have uh, 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5. We're just talking about basic addition here. We're not carrying anything over. So now we're going to move over to this column right there. Okay, so we have our 5. Hold on. Let me just kind of... All right, so this is our next step. Okay, so we have 5 plus 0 plus 0. That's 5. Now we're going to add up these numbers in this column right here. So 2 plus 8 we're not thinking about the decimal point right now. We're just adding up the numbers. Uh, 2 and 8 is 10. 10 and 3 is 13. So we'll write down 13 as our answer. Now we need to be thinking about uh, the decimal point, right? So here's our decimal point. We're going to drop it down right there. So that's going to be 1.35. Okay, now this is by no means a lesson, a full, you know, uh, you know, review on how to add and subtract decimals. Of course, we're not even talking about how to divide decimals or multiply decimals. So don't feel bad, again, if you don't remember how to do this, okay? All right. But anyways, this is just a quick review on how to add decimals. So the answer is 1.35. All right. Now let's go ahead and talk about another way to do this problem. So uh, some of you might be like, you know, I don't like uh, decimals, Mr. YouTube Math Man. I prefer working with fractions, and that is perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you to quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely need your support. I mean, I love teaching math, uh, but the whole point... Um, of this channel is to help people learn mathematics okay it's not about me listening to myself i'm trying to you know get someone out uh, else on the other end of this video to improve in math right now math proficiency uh, globally the trend has been going down that's really not uh, good news for all of us i mean uh, we need people to understand math you know technology is increasing and you would think that with all this technology you know people should be getting better in math well, it's not the case, okay? Now, if you are struggling in math, all right, uh, definitely do not give up. There's absolute hope for you. Most people can uh, uh, really do well in math, but a lot of people are just like, you know, I'm bad at math. I don't like math. I don't understand math. Well, you know, uh, typically what I've found through many, many decades, people who struggle in math, or if you're having a tough time learning math, is uh, basically they're looking for shortcuts, okay? Now, I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad, but I just want to let you know, whether you are naturally good at math, you have an aptitude uh, for it, doesn't make a difference. Uh, math is a, uh, a lot of material to learn. It requires work for everybody. Okay, so you just got to keep at it and don't, don't be afraid of putting in the work. But uh, let's suppose you are like, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm working as hard as I can and I still struggle. Well, what you need beyond working hard is great math instruction, full, comprehensive, crystal clear Lots of problems explained in detail. So if you don't have a t access to a teacher like that and uh, you'd like to learn from me, well, check out all my math courses. You'll see links to them uh, in the description of this video. And if you want to learn basic math, because that's what we're talking about uh, right now, um, we're talking about fractions and decimals, I'll give you a specific, actually, I'll give you two specific course recommendations. But anyways, uh, thanks for uh, giving me a moment to tell you why I do these videos. So hit that subscribe button so I can be quiet and hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's get back to this prom. And let's suppose some of you are like, you know what? I like working with fractions. I'm not a big fan of decimals. No big deal because, again, as I indicated in the beginning of this video, there's different ways you could do this problem. So we can just change these decimals to fractions. So we have 0.8 and 0.3. And you can see the equivalent fractions here, 8 tenths and 3 tenths. So how do we change a decimal to a fraction? 
Well, we have to remember place value, okay? Place value. So right here, 0.8, the 8 is in the what place? It's in the tenths place. So instead of saying 0.8, someone could say uh, this number as 8 tenths. Okay, so if you like expressing decimals or, or describing decimals uh, using place value, that's actually very good. So this is 8 tenths. This is 3 tenths. So the way you say the decimal using place value is actually the way you write the equivalent fraction. So 8 tenths, okay, 0 0.8, 8 over 10, or 8 tenths, 0.3 is 3 tenths, or 3 over 10. Okay, so now we have a lovely fraction addition uh, problem. So... Uh, let's see if you can do this problem. This is not that difficult as well, but you do need to remember how to find the LCD. And if you forgot all this stuff, well, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it right now. Okay, so first things first, uh, remember when you add and subtract fractions, you need to have the denominators the same. So uh, we have three fractions here. So instead of finding the LCD right here, let's go ahead and add these two fractions because we have the same denominator. So again, when you're adding and subtracting fractions, if the denominators are the same, all we have to do is literally add the numerator. So here we can just take that eight and three. Eight plus three is 11. So this is 11 over 10. So now we're down to this problem right here. We got one fourth plus 11 over 10. Now at this point, um, to add these fractions, these denominators need to be the same. Obviously they're not, so we're going to need to find the lowest common denominator. Uh, so we're gonna have to rewrite uh, both of these fractions such that the denominators are the same, like this situation right here. Okay, so what is the LCD between these two fractions, 1 fourth and 11 tenths? Well, hopefully you said 20. Now if you said 40, if you said the LCD uh, was 40, well, that is a common denominator. 40 is a common denominator. It's not the lowest common denominator. The lowest common, uh, lowest common denominator, excuse me, is 20. Now, how you find the LCD, this is a big, big topic uh, in math. Well, actually, um, a lot of uh, people could, you know, basically find the LCD with real easy fractions, like, say, one half, and uh, that's, uh, I'm just making something up, one, uh, three over... Uh, 15 or something like that. Now, of course, uh, let me make this uh, 7 over 15 so we don't reduce that fraction. So most people can kind of do these type of problems and find the LCD. But if I uh, gave people a very complicated problem, like let's say 3 over 208 plus uh, 1 over 192, okay? Now, this particular problem, most people will be like, you know what? I don't like you anymore, Mr. YouTube Math Man, because these uh, problems are too difficult. Well, how do you find the LCD here? Well, you have to go through a procedure. Most people forgot how to do this. So if you want to relearn basic math, fractions, decimals, all the stuff that we're talking about, uh, check out um, in the link, uh, or I'm sorry, check out in the description of this video, you'll see my course links, check out my Math Foundations course, or my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I will teach you everything you know about arithmetic, uh, to include fractions, LCD, positive and negative numbers, percent, uh, place value, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. I'm not going to fully explain why the LCD is 20, but 20 is the lowest number that both 4 and 10 uh, go into. So we need to rewrite these fractions such that the denominators are 20. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, let's go ahead and see that right now. So we have 1 fourth plus 11 over 10. So again, we're going to rewrite each fraction such that the denominator is 20. So how do I change a 4 into a 20? Easy, multiply it by 5. But if I'm going to multiply this by 5, I've got to multiply the numerator by 5 as well uh, so I don't kind of uh, uh, come up with a new value, right? I'm not changing the value of this number. I'm just making it look different such that it has a 20 in the denominator. So 5, over, uh, five times 4 is 20, and 5 times 1 is 5. So this fraction here now is 5 over 20. Okay, so how do I change a 10 into a 20? Easy, just multiply by 2, but I also got to multiply the numerator by 2, so this is going to be 22 over 20. Now I can add these fractions because we have common denominators, so 20 and 20. So we just simply add the numerator, so 5 plus 22 is uh, 27 over 20. Now if you go into your calculator, 
Uh, now you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you said no calculator. I'm like, yes, I know. But just, uh, you know, um, make sure that, you know, you believe this answer is equivalent to 1.35. Take 27 and divide it by 20. You'll see you'll get the same uh, decimal equivalent um, answer, 1.35. And, of course, you could change this improper fraction to a mixed number fraction as well. Okay, so my videos are not designed to make anyone feel bad, all right? That's not the point of my video. So if you've forgotten how to do this stuff, no big deal. Again, you know, for me, this was way back in the good old 1970s. I actually have fond memories of, of doing this kind of math because uh, recess back in those days were so much fun. I mean, we would just go um, out, you know, and someone would always return with some sort of scrape or bruise. It was just a lot of fun to be in school back in those days. But uh, anyways, again, if you're like saying, you know what, I want to relearn math again, you know, um, you know, I just kind of want to brush off these skills. So if you want to learn from me, okay, I have two great uh, courses again. Uh, the first is my Math Foundations course. That's a three-chapter mini course, right? I go through all arithmetic stuff. Uh, percent, fractions, positive, negative numbers, place value, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you want to take it a step further, you want to learn basic math, but you also want to learn some algebra, geometry, maybe some trigonometry, probability, and statistics. And by the way, all my courses are self-paced. Check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You'll find a link to both of those courses in the description. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.